everybody so sorry I've been gone for a while um, there's been quite a lot going on in my life as of recent and I felt I just kind of needed a bit of a break from YouTube because um, with everything that was going on mixed with um, doing the editing and video recording and everything of uh, YouTube um, it was kind of just taking an emotional toll on me and um, I could feel that I was gonna start having panic attacks and everything so I just kind of steered from it. I ended up spending a few days with uh, a couple of friends of mine. They're just wonderful people and I, I can't thank them enough for letting me stay with them, me and my baby. It was really nice. It was a nice like little staycation for me. <laughs> that being said, um, because of like all the drama and everything that's been going on in my life, I've been wanting to sage, which I don't, I, it's what I'm kind of, I'll show you what I'm doing. Anyway, um, I've been wanting to sage um, because I've been feeling like there's a, just a lot of bad energy in the house, a lot of um, real negative energy. Just things have actually also picked up in the house again as far as activity. Uh, my mom always tells me about my bedroom doors sounding like they're opening and closing when I'm not here. Um, and that doesn't put me at, at ease because I don't have my onk with me. That's a long story. I don't want to get into it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm prepping for saging the house. So I get this white sage from Whole Foods and I'm using my sage plate. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, you've, you've seen this. I've taken a picture with it. So I'm just prepping all the sage on here. Um, I'm just getting them out of the bundle. Normally I do burn them on the bundle like this, but the thing is, is that um, with this as tightly bundled as it is, it's just gonna smolder and burn itself out. So it's gonna be pretty hard to keep lit. So instead of just doing what I normally do, I'm gonna actually use my sage plate this time. So this is going to be my first time using this sage plate to burn it, so I'm going to do what I can to record the experience and just show you guys how I sage because it's different for each person. Okay, so as I explained to you guys before, this was my very first time using the sage plate, so I didn't light up all those sage leaves like I probably should have and I didn't let it burn for as long as I should have. So just giving you guys that tip. Also, as you can see here, I'm using my hand as a fan to blow the smoke around. The theory about it is, is that whatever the smoke touches of the object, then that energy will be cleared out from that object. And yes, I did go into my shower, as you see there. I go anywhere and everywhere I can possibly go into to use the sage in and even in small areas I like to do what I call saturation where I blow on the embers to make it smoke more and let it just fill that area or the room with the smoke and at the very end I, I sage the front door and I'll explain the theory of saving the front door for last here. Okay, so as you guys see, that's pretty much how I go about sage burning um, in my own personal house. Of course, when I do it in somebody else's house, I'm a little bit more thorough and I concentrate on hot, hot spots in their house. Or I'm just very methodical of how I go about in cleansing their house. Um, now, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video, so I don't know if I put in that... I say to my mom who was recording for me, I always save the front door for last. And the reason why I do that is in the same mental sense of sweeping a house clean. Um, you push everything all together in one big pile and then you sweep it out the door. Um, and that's that same basic concept that I use when it comes to sage burning. I go through all around the house and then at the very end I go to the front door as a way of saying, you know, okay, get out you're gone, don't come back, you're not welcome, this house is not clean. So it's a very symbolic thing for me th in the method that I do it. Not everybody does it that way, it's all personal perspective, uh, personal belief really, <laughs> not perspective. Uh, I guess perspective t takes a play in it. Anyway, yeah, tomato, tomato, anyway. 
If you have any questions, comments, concerns uh, regarding sage burning, um, in some cases it is co also called energy cleansing as well as smudging. Um, so if you have any questions concerning it, please feel free to comment down below. I don't sage burn as often as I'd like to. Um, I normally like to sage at least once a month. Uh, to me, it's a very big deal. I do feel different and better after each sage burn. So this was a really big deal for me, and it wasn't just for everything that's been going on, but also I'm trying to enter a new chapter in my life with a new job possibility. So keep your fingers crossed for me, because I'm not going to say yet. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really hoping it pans through. So keep your fingers crossed for me, because I'm really wanting this job. So I'm looking forward to this, and I really wanted to sage as kind of like a symbology of ending that chapter of my life and en entering this new chapter in my life. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really hoping it works out. So hit that subscribe button because I'm actually getting ready to record some more videos regarding uh, paranormal experiences that I've had because I do also have more paranormal investigating stories to share as well as uh, my best paranormal investigating experience. Um, I think I think you guys will really like it because it's actually really fascinating. Give this video a thumbs up if you really like this video. I hope it was educational for you. Um, I know I always get asked by my friends what it is I do exactly. Um, also, just kind of like a little disclaimer. I'm not pagan or Wiccan or anything like that. I just, I have grew up with sage burning and things like that. I grew up weird. I'm still weird. So I do the sage burning. <laughs> Follow me appropriately and here's how you do it. Facebook.com slash yin yang Sarah or Twitter and Instagram spelled the same way at yin yang Sarah. Yin yang is a balance and the balance lies within yourself. I hope you guys have a lovely day. It's my time to go. It is nighttime for my girls. I gotta get going. Love you all so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.